Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the idler pulley on this 2005 GMC Savannah 2500. Uh, it has the 6 liter V8 engine and the tools you will need for this are a 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and a flat blade screwdriver. First thing that you want to do is remove these two 10 millimeter bolts that hold in your air intake box. Okay, now disconnect the harness to the air intake box. Set it aside and then you want to use a flat blade screwdriver to just loosen up this clamp. With the clamp loosened up you should be able to just lift and pull out your air intake box. Now using a flat blade screwdriver loosen up the clamp on this part of the air intake and once that's loosened up you should be able to just pull that up and out. Now you want to remove your, co uh, your radiator overflow bottle just remove the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it in place. And then it'll just lift up and pull out. And you just want to set that aside. 15. Now that you can see the serpentine belt, you want to use a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and place it on the tensioner pulley. And you just want to push that down and it'll loosen up the belt and you'll be able to pull it off the alternator and then pull it off all the other pulleys and just pull it up and out. Okay so your idler pulley is right here. What you want to do is take a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and just remove the bolt in the center of it and we'll just fast forward as he does this. Now once you get that bolt removed, the idler pulley will just come right off. Now to install your new idler pulley, what you want to do is you want to just put it into place with the bolt already through it. This helps you line it up. And then you just want to twist the bolt by hand. And then using the socket, you can twist it in a little further. And then add the ratchet and just tighten it the rest of the way. And we'll just fast forward through this process. And here we've drawn up a handy little uh, belt diagram for you. And obviously the quarters are way too tight for us to be able to film the whole process of putting the belt on. But basically you want to feed it down around the crank down there on the left side and around the power steering pulley. Um, bring a loop up on top of the water pump and then up on top of the tensioner under the idler pulley. And then basically just kind of hold on to it at the alternator, pull the tensioner, and wrap it around the alternator, and then release the tensioner. We are going to try to show you the best we can. You can see he's feeding it down over the power steering, and then up over the water pump. And then he puts it up over the alternator down around the idler pulley. You can't really see it, but he's trying to feed it down around the crank. And then he's going to pull it up and place it on the tensioner. You can see we can kind of see he's feeding it down around the crank right there. All that's left is getting it onto that tensioner. Now with the belt in place, you want to put that 15 millimeter socket on the tensioner. And you want to push down on that and that will allow you to align the belt on all of the pulleys. 
make sure you have it in place and then you just want to tighten the tensioner back up okay now just take that part of your intake and put it back down put it into position and just use a flat blade screwdriver to tighten up the clamp now you can reinstall your air intake box you can see there's two holes there they line up with the two pegs on the van and you just want to feed that down in there get it into position and then using a flat blade screwdriver you just want to tighten up that clamp where it connects and you can see there he actually loosened up the uh, part of the intake he put in before this he loosened it up just so he could angle it and push this part down and then you just want to tighten both those clamps back up if you have to do that. Okay, we'll just fast forward here. You want to put in those 10 millimeter bolts that secure the air intake box and reconnect the harness. And then you want to realign your radiator overflow bottle, put it into position, and replace the 10 millimeter bolt in that. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.